श्री मात्रे नम बिफोर गेटिंग इट वीडियो प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू चैनल सो यू मोटिवेट आर्स एंड ब्रिंग आउट दिस सीक्रेट कंटेंट ऑल द अवतार आइडेंटिटी एक्टिवेशन इंटीग्रेशन कन्फर्मेशन हाउ यू विल नो दैट यू हैव एक्टिवेटेड और यू आर एक्टिवेटिंग योर अवतार आइडेंटिटी ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट दैट सो बिफोर मे स्पीकिंग अबाउट दिस टॉपिक्स आई want to say that if you did not yet watch my avatar identity of consciousness videos which i have made few you know few days back please go watch those videos because they are very important and they will help you in understanding this video i have made a video about 10th dimensional of consciousness i have made video about 11th dimensional consciousness i made video about avatar identity of consciousness i made video about pearl activation so you have to watch all these videos so you can understand and you can uh, better you know um, analyze things about avatar identity of consciousness and you can have a uh, you know a complete picture complete puzzle of complete avatar identity of consciousness activations okay 10th 11th and 12th so do watch those videos and also come back to this video so that you will have a full picture full story okay so in those videos i have talked about the uh, egg which is called which you will activate during your 10th dimensional level of consciousness so that egg is a golden egg but in here in the 12th dimensional level of consciousness also in the 12th dna strand activation also you will activate your egg which is the cosmic egg that egg is different that egg is a 10th dimensional egg but this one is the cosmic egg the hiranyagarbha the golden womb okay so when you activate your 12th dimensional consciousness when you activate your hiranyagarbha the golden womb then it is a confirm sign that you have activated your 12th dimensional level of consciousness and also you have integrated it so this is like complete angelic avatar self activation when you are done with your hiranyagarbha activations when you're done with your cosmic egg activations right so the cosmic egg how does it look i don't know about others experience but i can share my experience so that you can get your plan and your future help for your experiences okay so i can only share my personal experience i don't know about uh, uh, other people but i uh, what i know is about me so i am just sharing my experience it may or may not resonate with you if it resonates then it's nice that that you got your help which you need right so i am doing my best in whichever way possible uh, so that it it can my videos can be useful for you okay so in my experience when i activated the hiranyagarbha the cosmic egg it is what hiranyagarbha is what hiranya golden garbha is womb it means golden womb you will activate the golden womb within you so this is the cosmic egg activation you will experience the golden womb deep within you when i was experiencing it i felt like there is something deep within me there is an entire universe within me okay in that universe i have experienced a womb a cosmic womb a golden womb a golden egg so not only this okay when i experienced this after some time okay when i experienced this i was feeling like okay there is something more about this there is something which uh, more had to be done something is there it's still not over the activation is still not over i was getting this kind of feeling when the, all these things were happening within me okay so i experienced the universe within me and in that universe there is a golden egg which is the hiranyagarbha the golden womb so when i was experiencing this after few seconds i also experienced the external universe when i experienced the universe within me it was my internal universe internal cosmic egg after some time i also experienced the there is a huge universe huge space and filled with like stars and milky way and all these things and then there is a golden womb 
Dhiranya Garbha of the Adi Shakti. I'm getting goosebumps while I'm saying this. <laughs> so what was actually happening is most people might have, you know, you might have read it so many times. What's external? What there is internal and there is external. Okay. What's within? It's without. What's inside? It's outside also. Has above, so below. This line, this exact line, syncs with this thing so very much. It fits perfectly. Okay. So your inner universe, the inner Hiranya Garbha within you is getting connected with the outer universe, Hiranya Garbha of Adi Shakti. So you are getting connected with the Adi Shakti within you and Adi Shakti in which we all are there. It means there is an external big universe big hiranya garbha big womb of the adi shakti in that womb the entire universe is there right the entire new universe with all the planets galaxies and all these things the all the species organisms all these things are there and we are one in that universe we are just tiny peck of a thing in the womb of adi shakti which she is holding in her womb we are something okay we are inside her womb there is one huge multiverse in that there is adi shakti and adi shakti is having a womb in that womb okay inside that womb i am sitting here and i am also experiencing a universe within me and also inside my own universe there is again a womb which is the golden womb so i am connecting with me my golden womb my hiranyagarbha and also simultaneously i am connecting with the womb in which i was there the womb of the adi shakti hope you're getting it so this is the actual union of divine with you so this is like the oneness which everybody talks about this is the unconditional love which everybody talks about. This is the at one meant. This is uniting with the divine. This is the connection of internal and external. And that's why this is called as oneness. Okay. I am hoping that you are understanding this. So when this happens, you will actually for the first time in your life, will not just say it but will experience what actually means has about so below what actually means oneness is you will actually and really really not just talking you will actually experience that oneness it will come into your practicality it will come into your experience it will come into your consciousness that oneness seed of consciousness is already seeded within you from this point on and this is not the end my friends this is just the beginning of this ending this is like anthi aram hai this is the ending of a new beginning you have ended most of the polarities you have ended the vesica pisces you have activated the third energy which is the observer energy the third energy which is the oneness energy the third energy which is the Adi Shakti energy so this is the end of that duality this is the end of polarity this is the end of separation consciousness and this end is the starting point of oneness from here on you will already begin your journey towards oneness because you have ended all the polarity, all the Vesica Pisces, all the separations, all the good and bad, all the black and white and all these things. You have become the third consciousness, that observer point, the zero point. This is the activation of the zero point within you. So activating this zero point is the end of all that nonsense which is not required anymore. This is the end of all those things, all that, you know, fight between mind and fight between the mind and heart and all these things. 
the major part of that separation the major part of that vesica pisces and all these things the major part of that differences will go off will fall off will fade away and from here on from this point on you are beginning your journey into zero point you are beginning your journey into unconditional love you are beginning your journey into oneness into god's consciousness this is the avatar consciousness my dear friends so has i told that this is not the end when you have activated this i i thought i myself thought that okay this is the end maybe that's it the after this there's nothing but then after a few time, you know few minutes after a few seconds i got reminded that this is leading to another journey so this was not the end this was just the beginning of that oneness this was the seed for that oneness this was this this was the seed for that plant which will grow within you that plant of unconditional love the plant of that oneness the plant of the divine union the plant of merging with the divine the plant of the divine consciousness the plant of the source consciousness the plant of at one ment so adi shakti has already seeded her womb her cosmic womb within you so that is a seed that is a seed for that do these plants which i have been talking about that is a seed for all that divineness within you <laughs> so those of you are in the process of activating this or those of you who have already activated this congratulations <laughs> so this is a divine blessing this is something for which you have to be very grateful for and this is something for which you have been working very hard for i know it wasn't easy i mean you might have faced so many struggles hardships inner work shadow work all these things inner child work to come to this point it wasn't easy it wasn't easy for me either but it was worth it it was worth it and you we have to like you have to celebrate this you have to be grateful for this because all that pain all that hurdles and all these things you know all those divine tests it shows that you have passed those divine tests okay the divine tests i i know that how difficult it will be right so it means that you have passed so many divine tests in your life after that only you might have reached to this level okay so this is the end this is the ending of you getting out of a matrix and then this is the beginning of a hidden journey which i will talk about later uh, i will share about that hidden journey later uh, after if i feel like if i have to share if it's my purpose to share on my channel so stay tuned about it hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on that hidden journey okay so this is initiation for your oneness consciousness this is initiation for your for you being that a uh, divine being okay this is the initiation for that godliness so this was all about hiranyagarbha the cosmic womb okay so thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for listening stream atre namaha and hope this helped you in some or the other way thank you